I'm Ben Hoff, and welcome to Mastering Cute 5 Programming by Pack Publishing. As a brief introduction to myself, I actually have a lot of experience with Qt, having started programming with both C++ and Qt, developing real-time graphical simulations. I also have extensive experience with PyQt, creating chat GUIs, and have had success integrating OpenCV and Qt to provide facial recognition applications. If you'd like to stalk me on the web, feel free to visit my blog, YouTube channel, or follow me on GitHub. This course will provide you an in-depth view of the Qt framework, covering both the traditional C++ aspects as well as exploring the newer QML options. To provide a little more depth, we'll look into moving beyond GUI applications, which covers both how to make command line programs as well as exploring utilizing some of the network capability to create a simple supercomputing framework. Once we're done with that, we'll move on to the model view, where we'll explore in-depth Qt's model view framework and tease out some of its inner workings. We'll also look into interacting with the web, showing how to embed web pages in our application, as well as reaching out and interacting with JavaScript on the pages. Once we're done with web, we'll move on to the world of multimedia, covering recording video, audio, and photos in our applications. Additionally, adding in Open Computer Vision and the Qt 3D module. We'll then move on to our first QML section, covering communicating between QML and C++, as well as creating our own modules and types. Once we're done introducing QML, we'll go more in depth, covering charts, animation, particles, and 3D in visual representations. We'll start to round out the last of the course covering compiling and distributing for both desktop and mobile. We'll cover Windows, Linux, and static distributions on the desktop, and cover how to set up and distribute apps for Google on mobile. I expect users to have a basic understanding of Qt and C++, but I'm confident that if you're willing to learn, you can understand all the material from this course. Now, by the end of this course, you should have an in-depth knowledge and experience to distribute your applications on any platform. So, let's go ahead and get started.